Welcome to another daily inspiration by TrueMind.com. We are reading today from the book Business Leaders and Success by William J. O'Neill. Great book. In introduction, quote, Successful people in all fields share a similar qualities that move them to the top. Desire, determination, and drive, for instance. Yet, they each have a different approach to that gives them a unique edge. One characteristic you will discover that all great leaders have in common is a positive attitude that gives them daily inspiration to meet challenges and overcome unforeseen obstacles. They don't get mirrored down in what went wrong. Great leaders choose to take the most positive approach to what many people would perceive as a huge problem. They fix it, work around it, or figure out how to turn the problem into a solution. When AP Giniani Bank burned down after the San Francisco earthquake and fire of 1906, he immediately set up a car table on the corner and loaned money, when no one else would, to merchants who all lost their businesses and had no collateral after the disaster. That's how Bank of America began. And do you know how, who founded Home Depot? Two friends who had just been fired from another hardware chain. They turned the negative experience into a positive one by putting their vision in on, all, on one giant hardware store into action. Disneyland was also born out of a negative set of circumstances. Walt Disney... Walt well, Disney's wife, brother, and business partner all refused to invest any money in, Walt, in Walt's new idea to create a theme park dedicated to fun and happiness. Did he let all these naysayers hold him back? Of course not. He founded a separate company to develop Disneyland and star highly successful TV shows, The Wonderful World of Disney, to help finance it. So all great leaders have in common great determination and the ability to turn things around, to turn you know, apparent obstacles and problems into huge opportunities. Now we're reading from page 11, Media Innovator Oprah Winfrey. First, Winfrey is committed to high quality. If the quality isn't there, you will have the right to change your mind, she said in an interview with the Academy of Achievement shortly after her induction into the organization Hall of Fame. Second, Winfrey says you, would, you should go with your guts. I am where I am today because I allow myself to listen to my instinct, she says. In 2003, Oprah Winfrey became the first African-American woman to join the ranks of billionaires. At age 9, she was raped by an older cousin and was then abused by other relatives during the next several years. Acting out, she became a wild child and got pregnant at 13. Her baby, born prematurely, died shortly after its birth. Life is a marathon, she decided. You don't win or lose at every turn. I think the ones who survive in life do it by hammering it one day at a time. She said in Janet Love's book, Ofra Winfrey Speaks, her mother sent her to her father, who was a barber and a businessman in Nashville, Tennessee. There, she focused on self-improvement. Vernon Winfrey realized his daughter needed some inspiration. He told her how good she could be and encouraged her lifelong love of books. He also taught her that to succeed, she always had to pursue excellence. When Vernon set a goal, he focused totally on its achievement. To make sure he would get there, he would put in longer hours than anyone else and always try to do his best. He refused to undercut himself by thinking about failure. He started to absorb that attitude. There is no such thing as failure in life, Oprah said. I just don't believe in it. Vernon also taught her to reject fear. If she was afraid to try something, he, would, he told her she would never know whether she could do it or she would miss an opportunity. The true test of courage, Oprah said, 
is to be afraid and to go ahead and do it anyway. To be scared, to have your knees knocking, but to walk on in there anyway. Again, the, the true test of courage, Oprah said, is to be afraid and to go ahead and do it anyway. To be scared, to have your knees knocking, but to walk on in there anyway. I don't, believe in, I don't believe in luck, she said. I think luck is preparation meeting opportunity. I think the ability to be as good as you can be comes from understanding who you are and what you can and cannot do, she said. And what you cannot do is far more important than what you can do if what you cannot do is going to keep you from flying high. When she hires people, Winfrey looks for people who can do what she can't. I surround myself with people who are smarter than I am, she said. That way I feel I can learn something. Very interesting. This is from the book again from Business Leaders and Success by William J. O'Neill, founder of the Investor Business Daily. Excellent, excellent book. This very story, very interesting story on opera her determination and the ability to be the best that she could be. This has been another daily inspiration by TurboMind.com. You can go to TurboMind.com or subscribe to this podcast by at YouTube.com. Have an excellent and prosperous day.